Hi guys, welcome to Origa's Toyota Dartmouth. I'm Steve McDonald, one of the product advisors here. Come on over, I'll show you around this new 2018 Tacoma. The Tacoma was redesigned in 2016. It's got a very nice athletic and aggressive look to it now, uh, as it always did. Uh, starting with the front, we've got uh, fog lights down, down below here for added uh, visibility both in darkness and in clement weather. Uh, halogen uh, headlights, a very distinctive front grille. Uh, sort of sets the comb apart from uh, other models, and depending on the, the trim, whatever you get a different grill. Uh, we've got a functioning hood scoop up top here. Uh, both looks good, and uh, and serves a purpose both for cooling the engine, for better performance and efficiency. I'll open up the hood here. Uh, Ted has downsized the motor from its last generation, from a 4 liter V6 to a 3.5 liter V6, uh, with 278 horsepower and 265 foot pounds of torque. It actually it's an Atkinson cycle engine as well, which means uh, instead of having to resort to uh, turbocharger or turbochargers or diesel engines, you get more power, better efficiency out of a smaller, out of smaller motor with the Atkinson cycle. Uh, staying with the motor as well, uh, over a five-year term, you're going to spend less than two thousand dollars in maintenance uh, and scheduled maintenance uh, throughout, the, throughout a five-year term on this motor. Everything's clearly marked underneath. You've got your battery, uh, engine oil, uh, coolant underneath here, uh, air cleaner of course, uh, dipstick down below. Coming down the side, we've got uh, standard fender flares uh, for added looks and protection. Uh, available 17 or 18 inch alloy wheel with a built-in all-season tire. Uh, breakaway power four-fold mirrors. Now a breakaway mirror is going to break either way. Put some give to it in parking garages, in uh, the backwoods sort of thing, and getting into the tight spots. Um, you've got mud flaps built in front and rear. Uh, smart key technology, so basically you keep the key in your pocket all the time. Uh, and it's a uh, basically to hand over the uh, over the handle to uh, open it, and basically just touch the handle to uh, to close it, to lock it. Uh, nice, really nice TRD style badging, distinctive, kind of sets the look apart from the vehicle. Um, in the back here, we've got uh, a easy fold, easy drop, sorry, easy drop, easy lift tailgate. Rather than have to maintain it the whole way down, and uh, it's the same thing going back up. Now staying with the back. As Toyota has always had, is a factory, built, uh, factory installed composite box liner. Uh, it's built in from the factory, added wear, added protection. It goes with the warranty of the vehicle. Uh, and Toyota's had it for a great number of years and uh, hasn't moved past it because of the, uh, the form and function of it. Uh, come around here a little bit. We're going to find some nice features. Some storage pockets back here for some, uh, for some dry storage. Uh, Tacoma is available with an exterior 120 volt outlet on, some, on most models. And you got some added storage over here as well. Okay, staying with, staying with the back of the wall, guys, you've got a built in uh, uh, rear view camera for added visibility. And the nice thing about this camera is the fact that it points right over the trailer hitch, which is factory installed. I took a uh, Tacoma will tow up to 6,500 pounds easily uh, with an available four point pin or seven point pin for all your trail, uh, for all your trail brakes and lights. Uh, in your, in, uh, insert, is, insert comes with the hitch as well. Staying with the back, you've also got a three-piece rear bumper. So uh, this is one piece, two piece, three piece. So if you happen to inadvertently something runs into the back of you sort of thing in a parking lot or again maybe on, maybe on the trail sort of thing, um, you can either replace this piece, replace the bottom piece, or replace this piece individually without having to replace the entire rear bumper. Okay? Come around the side I guess. Again we've got uh, staying with the box. We've got adjustable uh, tie downs, which comes standard as well. You slide up and down the rails, okay, okay. as well as a uh, power sliding rear, rear, uh, rear window. Okay, locking gas door locks with the vehicle. Rear seat wise, loads and loads of space. Optional some functionality as well. If you've got if you've got a good amount of space back here, you can flip the seats down. Come a little closer, sort of thing. Basically, all it is is flip the bottom of the seat up. Sorry. Okay, headrest all the way up. To the point where it'll drop, at which point you pull the entire seat down. Now you've also got some storage pockets back here as well for added storage, okay, which is nice. And your child seat tether anchors are built in back here as well, okay? Okay, so you want to step inside. Now inside, guys, wise, you're going to find a full suite of power convenience group in terms of power windows, uh, power door locks, power mirrors. As I mentioned, your exterior mirrors are, are both powered and heated. Heated mirror button is right here. Um, your front windows now are both express up and express down, so easy one touch. Uh, over on the side here, you're going to find your uh, bed light, okay, 
as well as your 120 volt outlet and your automatic headlights. Now, same with the automatic headlights, exclusive to Toyota on, that you won't find on Colorado, Canyon, for, uh, Frontier, um, is Toyota Safety Sense. It's exclusive to Toyota and offer on every Toyota we sell. It comes with automatic high beams, which basically means when your, automatic head, when your high beams are on and you've got your automatic high beams engaged, basically oncoming traffic, uh, the, the lights will turn on and will dim themselves by the, uh, individually. Um, staying with Toyota Safety Sense, you've got electronic, or sorry, um, uh, lane departure warning. So if you tend to you tend to uh, wander side to side, whether it be on a multi-lane highway or even on a, on a single lane back road sort of thing, if you meander over, a little over to the shoulder or a little to the center, you'll hear a beep. And with steering assist, it'll bring you back ever so slightly. It's not intrusive whatsoever, so there's no need to fight with the wheel. And it'll bring you right back, right back to center. Uh, you've also got pre-collision warning system with pedestrian, pedestrian detection. So if something appears in front of us, either something, either, uh, something rolls, across, or rolls across the street, uh, another vehicle juts out in front of us, um, or uh, you know, a small child runs into a yard to fetch a ball sort of thing, the vehicle will, stop, will, will not stop on its own. However, it will alert you uh, to the to fact that it will, it will, it'll tone down the radio. Big warning sign will come up in the middle of your dash here, the fact that uh, you've now got an uh, obstruction in front of you and, and, and will, stop, uh, will stop immediately. Now, not to your, your, your steering wheel here, guys, you're gonna find a, a myriad of buttons. Uh, nothing to be too confusing about. You've got uh, audio controls on this side. All your information for your, for your console and your message system is all on this arm. Uh, with your steering wheel, uh, uh, you've got uh, voice recognition, uh, which means you can, you can hit the button. It'll pick up the, the recognition of your voice, change radio stations on the, on the, uh, on the uh, radio. It'll change from uh, Bluetooth audio to CD to radio whatever you needed to do sort of thing without having to take your eyes off the wheel or reach across the dash to do anything. Cruise control mounted on the, on, down on the stock down here. Now staying with the cruise control, again with Toyota Safety Sense, exclusive to Toyota, uh, you've got radar guidance cruise control. Basically how that works is you engage it here, there's a button, small button down here um, that'll ask you to set a distance between you and the car in front of you, whether it be one car length, two car length, three car lengths. Um, and basically when you set the cruise control, right down here with the, with the push down of the stock, uh, the radar, radar uh, dynamics, uh, radar guidance uh, will basically pick up the vehicle in front of you, lock onto the vehicle in front of you. If that vehicle slows down, whether it be coming up into oncoming traffic or, or some avoidance, uh, something to avoid on the road, you'll slow down and always keep the same distance between you and the car in front of you. If they speed up, we're going to speed up at the same time, up to the speed we set the cruise control at. Okay. Uh, we've got our mesh center here, as I mentioned, our Bluetooth audio down here, with audio staying with the infotainment system that's available. A uh, seven-inch infotainment system with uh, Bluetooth, Bluetooth audio streaming, uh, Sirius XM, navigation. Um, down below it, we're going to find our climate control system uh, with our heated seats on either side. Now, it's a three-stage heated, heated seat system, um, so it's not an all-or-nothing system. So it's basically high, low, uh, high, medium, and low, depending on wh what you want it, based on the temperature outside, uh, how comfortable you want to be, sort of thing. Our four-wheel drive is down here. We've got two, uh, uh, two low, or sorry, two-wheel drive, four high and four low. Uh, four low can only be engaged uh, in park when the vehicle's in neutral. You've got your climate control settings here. Again, staying with your uh, heated mirrors. Down here, we're gonna find our, uh, rear view, our, view, our, rear, our power uh, sliding our windows I mentioned outside. Next to it is our, mul our multimedia uh, inserts and uh, charging. We're gonna find another 12-volt uh, accessory charger over here. This right here is kind of nice, guys. It's an electronic-controlled uh, torque converter. We power it on. Again, staying with the uh, with the towing capacity out back, as I mentioned, up to 6,500 pounds. Um, this is great because of the fact that when you're on the highway towing, um, the vehicle will basically find the best shift pattern in the transmission and maximize both torque and efficiency for whatever you're, pull, whatever you're pulling back there, okay? Um, you've got an automatic transmission here, emergency brake. Oh, and tilt and telescopic wheel underneath here, full range, okay? Up top here, I don't know if you would notice this or not, this is kind of a neat function. This is a GoPro, GoPro mount. So if you have a GoPro camera at home, you can certainly mount it in here. Keep track, you, you know, use it as an onboard camera uh, for both on-road, off-road. We've got an auto dimming rear view mirror up top here with uh, built-in uh, built garage door openers. With an auto dimming rear view mirror, there's no uh, use of the, uh, the assembly toggle switch under, under, underneath anymore. Anybody can look at the, in the rear view mirror with, with their bright lights on, this is gonna dim itself. You don't have to worry about flipping it up and down to get the, uh, get the uh, the glare out of your eyes, okay? Um, staying with that, now the sunroof, uh, there's an available sunroof package with this as well, which again, isn't offered on both Canyon, Colorado, or Frontier. 
Uh, and staying with our competitive advantages, we've got our Toyota Safety Sense. Um, we've got an available sunroof, uh, available heated mirrors, which, uh, which none of the of our competitors offer. Uh, we've got a smaller turning circle than our competitors, uh, which means a lot when you're driving a truck. And the fact that, most importantly, Tacoma has the best retained resale value in the marketplace. So in five years' time, this truck will be worth much, much more than its competitors based on mileage and condition. Okay? Come around the, the side here, guys, to the back. As I mentioned, we've got a 60-40 split folding rear seat. So as I showed you the function earlier about the seats flipping up and the backs folding down, it's not all or nothing. You can still carry two passengers on this side and flip this side down or still carry a passenger here. If you're riding volume and cargo, you can put, flip this side down. We have cup holders back here as well. Uh, three point seat belts across the entire bench. Okay, there's no, there's no uh, um, um, black belt in the middle, so someone's gonna draw straws to see who sits in the middle. And staying with that as well, we've got uh, complete um, adjustable uh, three point seat belts in the front with uh, pretensioners uh, built in, which means uh, with the airbag, with an, if an airbag's ever deploy sort of thing, the pretensioner will pull you back in the seat um, so the airbag isn't coming full force. Now staying with airbags, we've got eight airbags in total in here, uh, which, is, uh, which is really nice to see, to see in a pickup truck. Um, class leading in the fact that um, there's a roll, there's a roll, uh, rollover sensing airbags, as well as Front, and, uh, front passenger and driver's side knee bolster airbags exclusive to, to Toyota. Any questions, any concerns? Great.